That's right, there is a new major add-on for State of Decay 2, the Daybreak Pack, and let me tell you when it arrives, September 12th. And now, Rikari and I, nice shirt. Thank Rikari, you. I that's, appreciate that. Yeah, you know, that's I, really, we should have coordinated, but I think it ended no, up all right. No, you have great taste. Uh, and we have Wonder Russell from Undead Labs. Thanks so much for joining us to talk about this big State of Decay 2 news. Sure is. Well, first of all, the big news is, this is her second show. Yeah. Wonder is now a two-time yeah. guest, and All you've right. done Redmond and International, so hey, high five I'm for very that. excited. We'll we get a blazer after three shows. <laughs> Can't wait for my pin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't you tell us about the Daybreak Pack? Yeah, Daybreak Pack, entirely new mode for State of Decay 2. It's very exciting. Uh, there's also a ton of unlockables for your community. You play as a really well-equipped elite Red Talon soldier. So you drop in, and your whole goal is to defend a Red Talon tech through waves of zombies that get increasingly harder. So we're seeing this now. This is brand new footage from Gamescom. There's a demo That's that right. folks are playing right now behind us. And what you can see is like, it's, there's quite a bit different, especially your location. Yes, it's a new map. Uh, you don't use your own community, so you're not going to lose any precious survivors. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I yes. have to ask, since <laughs> my likeness appears in the game. You said a Red Talon soldier, not your own community? Not your own community. <sighs> I know. Right. Maybe if you keep leveling up those fighting skills. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. But it, it's, it's good because it's a completely different type of thing. So, yes. so how does Daybreak work? Daybreak works, so you spawn in as a Red Talon soldier. So there is permadeath, but if you die, you'll respawn as a new soldier in about 13 seconds. And they don't look like you, so you don't have to worry about it. Great, yeah. great. Yeah, Super I can helpful. Those yes. You have the best gear, and you are defending a fortified position. It's kind of like siege defense mode, uh, protecting the technician who's working on an uplink to the Clio satellite system. So Clio is something we introduced in year one survival edition. Mm -hmm. So she controls a, a drone and satellite network. She's helping you with the fight. She's calling in airstrikes and leaving drops for you in the field. Now you mentioned gear. Is it safe for me to assume that there are new weapons and equipment? Absolutely. All new weapons, great gear, including unlockables for your community. Uh, nine new ranged weapons, six new melee weapons, six new consumables, different kinds of explosives, mines you can trigger, really going to help you out. There's so much stuff. i got to ask, do you have a favorite? Do I have a favorite? I, there is an axe that I love. And it takes a lot of stamina, but you just swing that and you feel like a badass. It's awesome. So seeing some of this B-roll or some of this footage here, which we just saw, uh, we saw what looked like a new freak. That's right. So this is something that the fans have been speculating might exist, and we're really excited to bring it to Daybreak, the Blood Plague Juggernaut. All right, so the Juggernaut already, like, the cause of probably worldwide Mayhem. millions Many of deaths. rips apart. No, I run. I run. I hear that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm out of there. So he's even tougher than the regular Juggernaut. And... He's <laughs> infected with blood plague. So you absolutely can die, even though the whole experience, if you were to survive all seven waves, they get increasingly harder and longer. But if you were to survive, it's maybe about a 45 minute experience. You can die of blood plague in that time. Easy. So let's talk about um, the connection between Daybreak and your community. So right. there, there's some really great rewards for playing Daybreak. Absolutely. Yeah, so the more waves you survive, the longer you play, the more prestige you earn, which is going to be the in-game currency for unlocking those in your base game. So you can call in uh, Red Talon Bunks and Barracks, uh, Red Talon Watchtower that gives you more passive defense than a regular Watchtower, Grafting Station. You can even recruit one of the Red Talon Elite Soldiers to come into your community. They have their own set of skills that are just maxed out. They can even become a leader, and not just a warlord, which I think is really cool. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. That's yeah. September 12th, yeah? You do, yeah, it is. And yeah. uh, I th just think you're excited that you can play and not worry about but not worry about if I'm someone who looks like you. Yeah, and up to, in this co-op as well, drop in, drop up, uh, up to four players. And uh, and if you you can also play it uh, single player, and you'll have two NPCs to go with you, which really helps. That's awesome. <laughs> it does. We played it, and it's a, a lot of fun, and it's I really can't wait fun. to be able to spend those points on some cool new Clio yes, gear in my really main cool. game. All right, cool. Thank you, Wonder, for, uh, yeah. for joining Thanks us here. And we'll be playing my on pleasure. September 12th. Up next, Graham's going to give us the scoop on Sea of Thieves. So sharpen your blade and shiver oh, me. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, what? Stop. Why? Why, why do you got to do that? Why are you going to tell me how I can see a thief? I just, you know, they hate that. I hate that. So why do that? Because it sounds like Graham and I want to be like You know what? Live Graham. your life. No, live your life. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Take it away, Graham.